they want to know how to proceed if there are too many customizations to fit in to make this happen. Like it's taking so much of the business time. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you work with Activate and be able to do that? Tree, do you want to give me a second and tackle this? Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll get a breather. <laughs> Absolutely. No, no uh, see, uh, cloud is all about standardization, right? I mean, we all know that it's all about how do we run with prepackaged uh, content, which will help you get a faster value for your implementation. Yeah. So it's also about the mental thought process to say, how do I have a cloud mindset to say that, am I going to take whatever workloads that are running on my on-premise to the cloud directly? Or do I want to see what does it fit for my business, for my business transformation on the cloud and implement that? Yeah. So it's, it's a choice. And that's exactly what we've been trying to say, that it's not just a technical migration, right? It's also about the business transformation that comes in where I choose what is right for me to run on cloud. And if that is the right process to run on cloud, what, what does it take to have the standard extension mechanisms that is needed to run on cloud? So that's that's the choice that the, uh, every product map, uh, owners or even the fund, head of businesses needs to deliberate on, and they are deliberating that as we move that. So for that, we'd be given complete choices. Yeah, I mean, there are there are there are places where we say that, hey, you know what, we can do move completely to a private cloud if that's that's the need. In some cases, it could be a hybrid version, right? I mean, you run some aspects of it in your on-premise environment. We run things which are can be standardized, for example, a sales function, yeah, or a central finance function or a central procurement function on the cloud, gain some experiences with how it's happening and then probably move the remaining workload to the cloud. So that's that's something that's possible or go to the other extreme, right? I mean, I start completely and try to get a completely reimagined business processes on cloud as a starting point, but still retain my complete workload that is there on on-premise. Yeah. So all the three choices exist. So it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a question of how do we really want to get started? And all the three options are deliberated completely in this press book to say that, hey, you know what, we don't want to give you the way to say that this is how you need to do. We give you these three options and all three are possible. And now you check what is right for your business to move on. So, um, oh, here comes another one. Another question just popped in, which is good. Can we use that? Uh, I'm sorry. For yeah, jumping in, I'll, I'll I'll jump in with with some of the some of the assets that we have built in Activate to prevent this from happening in the future. So a lot of a lot of our you know customers as they are starting to implement S four, mm -hmm. they may still apply the same mindset and the same principles in extending the solution by going in and modifying the code or going in and creating their own custom code. That is then you know just reiterating the same issue in 10 years uh, that you have today or in 20 years that you have today. So what we have established in Activate is this concept of solution standardization board, or if you will, design review board, right? That's been established as one of the foundational elements that you set up at the beginning of your project. And then you use that set of design principles to make decisions whether that extension is necessary. That's the first question that you're asking. And then if you determine that that extension is necessary or that integration is necessary, then it's all about technology choices. Are you going to be extending the code in app? Are you going to be extending it side by side with business technology platform? What technology uh, you will use for integration? And we have actually tied this and th this goes back. This, this is a very interesting story. So. SAP has been talking about five golden rules for past, I would say three years, maybe four, right? Very simple rules, use Activate, use best practices as starting point, document the solution, use modern integration technologies and use modern extension technologies. And I had a sidebar conversation with one of our partners uh, when we were meeting in, uh, in person in Utah Square before the pandemic. And uh, the, you know, the, the, the gentleman asked me a question and I saying, I, I, I get it. I get the principles, but how do I do it? Tell me, how do I do it? Right. How do I, how do I actually go through from what, that one slide into applying these principles very in very structured way in my project. And that's where the solution standardization board as the governing body came through 
That's where the extensibility guide, uh, that's a more technical resource came through. And the white paper that describes how to use tools inside S4 for monitoring that environment or how to apply our ALM tools to monitor those changes and then control it. And not only control it in the project, but control it in your COE once your solution goes live. So that's really a valuable piece of um, you know, guidance that we have built into Activate based on conversations, feedback from our users. And uh, you know, we, I don't know if we're gonna touch on it, uh, but every feedback item that you submit, you, you, anybody on this call or anybody that uses Roadmap Viewer, it goes to my mailbox, it goes to my entire team's mailbox and they have, they have a visibility of all this feedback. So if you have ideas how we can improve, if you have ideas what we can do better, let us know. We, we definitely drive about 80% of improvements in Activate is based on user feedback. 